School is about to start. Autumn gets me down. Peter scared Heidi by describing it as a living hell. I want to go to school. She thought Grandfather would force her to go, so Heidi panicked and ran away in the mountains. Heidi! Heidi! Grandfather eventually found her and reassured her. This winter, you'll be staying up here in the cabin with an old grumpy bear. What Heidi didn't know is that Grandfather received a letter from Dete. You'll be happy to know that I'm coming to take her back next spring. Yes, they sleep all through winter. Oh, I see. And what about goldfinches, like Chippy? They don't. They fly south to warmer climates. Oh. What about marmots? They hibernate too. Right now, they're storing supplies for winter in their lair. They store supplies just like us. I hope the killers have some honey. <laughs> we'll see. Do you think I could get something for this? A fossil, maybe. We can ask Mrs. Keller, but don't get your hopes high. She's not the kindest person in the village. Hmm. Can I go and say hi to Grandmother? Hmm. I can ask if she needs anything from the village. All right, but be quick. I'll move on. You catch up with me at the grocery store. Yes, Grandfather. <laughs> to get the classroom ready. <sighs> School's starting again soon. Well, look what I found. Hmm. Brilliant. Hey, do you want to trade it? I'd like to own it. What would you give me for it? Wait here. So, what do you think of this? Really? Wow! Oh, thank you, Carl! Hey, what about me? I want something too. Hmm, I could give you this moonstone. Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> but only if you bring me something special. <laughs> Keep your stupid stone. Sure, you don't want anything, Grandmother? Hearing your voice, your visit, and your smile are all I want. There, take some bread before you go. Oh, but it's stale. Oh, little one, bread is too expensive. I can't have a fresh one every day. I need to go, Grandmother, but I'll come back on my way up. I'll bring you some fresh bread. Mm -hmm. Ow! Oh! Oh, ouch! Oh. Oh. Sorry, Peter. Oh. Look what you've done. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm going to the village with Grandfather. We need supplies for winter, you know. Hmm. You want to come too? I need to get the wood pile ready before winter. But I'll join you there later. Great. I'll see you soon then. <laughs> uh, 
Well, Uncle, for all of these items, I can give you two kilos of flour, three kilos of dried meat, one litre of oil, and, uh, and one kilo of dried beans. And some honey. And some honey. Huh? Good morning. Heidi! <laughs> Hello, Heidi. I'll just go and get your supplies, Uncle. Um, could I please have this bread for my fossil? <laughs> for this fossil? I can't give you more than a bread crumb. But it is a very precious fossil. And my bread is even more precious. Sorry. Hmm. You should wait outside for me. It won't take long. Good morning, Heidi. Good morning, Teresa. Mm. That's a nice fossil. Yes, it's nice. But it's worthless. Your mother didn't want to give me a loaf of bread for it. My mother doesn't know anything. I could trade you for it. Um, you know where to find some? Of course. Come with me. So, are you coming? Wow! Whose breads are those? They're everyone's. You can choose the one you want. This one. <gasps> it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Grandmother will be so happy. Hmm. 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 Um, did you get all you needed, Grandfather? Yes, Heidi. I think we're settled for winter. And I even got some honey. Great! I got something too. Hmm. A loaf of bread. Where did you get it from, Heidi? At the communal oven. But I didn't take it. Teresa sold it to me. Sold it? How did you pay? I gave her my fossil for it. Hmm. Barbel's mm. stamp. That little rascal Teresa gave you a loaf that didn't belong to her. Oh. Come on. We need to put it back. I know what I'm talking about, Hans. My loaf was there, cooling down. Someone must have taken it by mistake, Barbel. We all know each other's bread stamps. That's impossible. Someone stole it. Calm down, calm down. We'll find it. Oh, flour is expensive enough. I cannot lose my bread. Your bread is here. Uncle? Oh. oh. That's definitely my loaf. Anyone would know that. I am sorry. I didn't know. Likely story. Little thief. Come on now. Heidi made a mistake. She didn't know. Take your loaf back and forget about it. What? I'm not taking it back. She held it with her dirty hands. I don't want it. Just pay for it. Very well. I can give you flour. And I can sweat again to make more bread. I don't think so, Uncle. I'd rather take my loaf back then. But I think your granddaughter should pay for her crime. I didn't steal it. Teresa gave it to me for my fossil. She sold it to me. Teresa? What are you talking about? I believe you, Heidi. Oh, Grandfather. She's lying. She stole it. Enough! Heidi is not a thief, and we'll prove it. Grandfather, we could ask Teresa. Mm -hmm. Good idea. I'll meet you at your place later to sort this out. Hey, Carl. Look what I've got. Wow, it's beautiful. 
Can I have it? Hmm. Maybe. What will I get for it? And don't say one of your stupid stones. Wait here. I'll be back. Hmm. How about this? Yes. That's kind of nice. Don't you have anything better? That's my most precious butterfly. <sighs> well, all right then. See you later. Teresa, do you know what your fossil is? Well, um, a monster tooth? No. It's a Bactratida. It's a straight-shelled cephalopod. If you say so. <laughs> a monster tooth? Oh, look. One of the lake monster's teeth. The lake monster? Is there really a monster? <laughs> That's just a joke. You want it? It's a fossil. Oh, thank you. It's pretty. Hmm? Hey, Carl. Hmm? Can I see your fossil? Billy Goat, you scared me. Oh, sorry. The fossil Teresa gave you. Can I see it? If you want. It's a cephalopod. I think I've seen it before. Hmm. Tell me where your secret place is, and you can see it closer. Never. Well, then, you won't see it. Hmm. We need to see Teresa. Teresa? Why? She sold Babel's bread to Heidi and took Heidi's fossil as payment. Nonsense. Teresa would never do that. Maybe Heidi really needs to go to school to learn the manners of the village. <laughs> ah. Get Teresa here right now so we can ask her. <laughs> Teresa, there you are. <sighs> Did you sell Heidi Bubbles bread this morning? What? No, I didn't. What? Yes, you did. You took my fossil as payment. <laughs> what would I do with a fossil? Um, I don't know, but... I swear, I didn't sell anything. What did I tell you? Teresa doesn't lie and she's not a thief. Teresa, listen to me. If you tell the truth now, we'll explain everything to Bubble and it will be fine. But I didn't do anything. And I don't have Heidi's fossil. Hmm? Now, leave my daughter alone. <sighs> Let's go. Heidi, hey! Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. Hmm. Hey! What's wrong? Everyone in the village thinks I stole Babel's bread. Teresa tricked me. She sold me Babel's bread and took my fossil for it. And now she won't tell the truth. Your <laughs> fossil? Well, I think I know where your fossil is. You do? Can I go with Peter to get my fossil, Grandfather? I know everyone will understand when they see it. You won't get into trouble. Please, Grandfather. Very well, then. Meet me at Barbel and Hans's, and don't be long. <laughs> what can we do? We need to distract him. Do you have any ideas? Yes, I do. Hey, hmm? Carl! Billy Goat, what do you want now? Nothing. I just thought you'd like to know I've seen a beautiful butterfly, orange with black and white at the end of its wings. What? You saw a painted lady? Well, whatever it was, I'm going to catch it. Not if I catch it first, Billy Goat. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you there? Carl! not a rare one, Billy Goat. It's just a Red Admiral. You really don't know anything. It's time for you to go back to school. Carl, I thought I told you to prepare the classroom. Did you sweep the classroom floor? Heidi? Carl, huh? did you hear me? You have chores to do. Well, I, uh, I'll let you sweep, Carl. I have to go. Carl! I told Etta she shouldn't have left the child with you. Barbo, this is not what it's about here. We need to know if Teresa really tricked Heidi. Mm, that's the real question. Grandfather, hmm? we found my fossil. Oh, my... My cephalopod! <laughs> Treasure thieves! <laughs> Carl? Carl had it. Well, that doesn't prove anything, does it? <sighs> Look, there they are. I'm sure they did it. Hey, that's mine. Teresa gave it to me. <gasps> oh. What's going on here? I think Teresa has some explaining to do. <gasps> I thought we settled this whole thing, Uncle. I didn't settle anything. So, Teresa, where do you think we found this? I... I don't know. Huh? But you gave it to me. Is that true? Teresa, did you really sell my bread to get that stone? Teresa, you better tell the truth now. What did you do? Yes, I did it. <gasps> But why, Teresa? I wanted to bring Carl something for his collection, so he'd think I was a good friend. I am sorry. I didn't think it would cause such a problem. You thought stealing wouldn't be a problem? <laughs> well, this is all just a misunderstanding. Children, you know what they're like. <laughs> it's not a misunderstanding at all, Mr. Keller. Your daughter stole Barbel's bread and let Heidi take the blame for it. It's unbearable. So why don't you give Barbel a whole loaf back and apologize to Heidi? A whole loaf? It was just child's play. Teresa didn't mean to- A whole loaf to... and an apology will do fine, Alda. And I think Teresa is lucky the uncle is not asking for more. There you are, Barbel. And we are sorry about what happened. Don't you have something to say to Heidi? I am very sorry. I shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. Thank you. What about my fossil? Heidi and Peter stole it from me. The fossil belongs to Heidi. She didn't steal anything. Hmm. You're right. I'm sorry too. There, since you wanted it so much. Thank you. Come on, Heidi. Let's go back to the cabin. Next time, make sure you don't blame an innocent child. Thank you, Heidi. Hmm? How could you hear us? We were so quiet. 
I could smell the nice fresh bread you just put on the table. Where did you get it? <laughs> it's a long story. Anyway, enjoy the bread, Grandmother. for Chippy to move south. I told you. Oh. Do you think he'll be back in spring? We'll see. Goodbye, Chippy. <coughs> Stay safe. <coughs> <coughs> 